Hello friends, and welcome back to Let's Build Newcrest, the Newcrest Church Part 2. So, in this episode, or this part today, we're going to be getting the kind of graveyard and wedding area sorted. Unsure on how we're going to do this yet. We're going to leave the market uh, probably until the last one, because what I want to do is get inside and finish the interior to the actual church itself. You can see I've done a few things off of camera, one of them being a cheeky little car park on the outside of the church. Enough spaces for two cars, so it fills all your needs. <laughs> it doesn't really. Obviously, it's not realistic having a car park space for two cars in a church, but that is what I've got and gone and done because that's the room we've got and that's where we're going to go with it. Um... So yeah, you can, and I've filled in a lot more detail, especially with the church area. You can see the church has kind of changed a lot since the last one. We've used a lot of the jungle adventure kind of trims. We have put on a few little extra details here and there, like fountains and those sort of gargoyle heads. Um, still got a few things I need to do with the church as well. Um, the columns keep disappearing because that bug's still in the game, which is always oh, good. I love a bug, yes. Um, and obviously towards the back of the church, same sort of thing. We've just added a bit of stairs here. I've also put an entrance coming out from this side, just so they've got easy access uh, out into the gardens. It's, that's where we're going to go with it. That is where we're going to go with it. But I really, I just like the way that this, um, oh my, what's going on here? There's a little bug going on there with the fence. I'm sure that will sort itself out once we um, come and log out and come back into the game hopefully it usually does when there's a little fence glitch going on but what i did is i used these little like raisable um sort of pavements that was from get famous uh, i just thought it really matched in really well with oh my god what's going on here uh, is that right yeah that's right um i just thought it matched in really well with this aesthetic what i wanted to go for it adds a little bit of realism along with these trims which were from the get together pack with the drains um a little uh, payment kiosk for the cars. Yes, they're going to be paying to park at a church because Jesus needs some money. <laughs> That's where we're going to get with that. So, I think what we'll start doing is I'm going to start mapping in this pathway, coming in, connecting in with this lot over here so there isn't a bit way to get here. I'm going to raise this terrain up slightly. I do want the graveyard to be kind of semi-elevated. I did do this. <laughs> which is a little bit morbid, but I am morbid. So that's where we're going to go with it. So that there, my darlings, is a fresh, freshly dug out grave with a nice coffin in it, um, housing somebody's loved one. Oh my God, that's so awful. Should not be laughing at that, but I'm sick in the head. <laughs> and that is where we are going with that. I'm just wondering, can we put this up here? Would that look weird? Let's have a little goose. Mm, that colorway is not too bad. What is itching me? I thought it was going to be... I always expect a spider or something. I always expect a spider. Um, I mean, that one there looked okay there. I kind of... I'm kind of there for that a little bit. So we're going to stick with it in a minute. There's a pillar sticking through here and I can't... And then they come in here as well, look. Um, I'll show you the inside of the church as well. We've done a little bit to the inside of the church. So this is going to look really cool once we've finished it, obviously. Um, thank you for your um, ideas as well, guys. The, the organ, we've put an organ up there. I was going to add one anyway, but I'm glad, glad somebody reminded me. Um, also, with the kind of roof um, beams, I've kind of put these in and sized them up. Yeah, they don't connect in the middle, but we're going to look past that. And this area is going to be a little a little moment up here of an organ. I'm not sure what we're going to do around here yet. It would have looked better with the organ being in there, but I didn't want to take the stained glass window moment away if you know what i mean the organ would have just completely covered it um and yeah so yeah this this will finish the interiors to this today i think that would be really cool in fact i think that's what we're going to start with we're going to start with the interior of the church and go from there so i've changed the layout here a little bit more um so you have to just come through into this way and then this one here can be where the vicar's office or whatever the vicars do we'll, we'll go with that i think that would be lovely first things first i think in what i want to do let's get this grid on now you're gonna have to bear with me if i derp out of this build mode it's because i've been playing planet zoo to death um so i am kind of getting used to their build mode and my god 
I'm sorry to say this because you know how much of a massive fan of The Sims I am, but uh, the Frontier build modes for Planet Coaster, Planet Zoo, they are just so much better than The Sims 4. They really, really are. Um, it's quite sad, actually. I really wish that The Sims 4 was as good in build mode as those games because they they are just amazing amazing let me know if anybody else is out there playing that game as well i will be bringing planet zoo to the channel but i'm going to be bringing it once the game is on full release and it comes out properly on the 5th of november i think so i will be bringing a series to the channel where we build our own zoo and stuff so keep an eye out for that my friends keep an eye out for it darlings i wouldn't do it in a gray i think we'll I liked those benches actually. The aesthetic kind of fit in here well, but I'm just wondering, will they have a, oh, that one there's not too shabby. Wish we had some like, oh, we have, what am I doing? I usually use these benches in churches anyway, um, but I think this one here would marry in quite well. Oh, they are quite chunky though. They are quite chunky. I think we'll go for that color wood. Yeah, they just seem a lot more churchy, don't they? So we'll pop one there, one there, one there. One there. Um, oh, I didn't want to go up into the windows. Oh, well, I'm going to have to. How many spaces have we got in between this? Like one bit, really. So it's like that, isn't it? Yep, that will have to do. And then we'll do another one there. And then at the back here, I don't know what we're going to do there. Maybe like a confessions box. We could make our own there. That would be pretty cool. Let's try it, shall we? I mean, that's a nice enough sort of space there for the bride or the grooms or whatever could walk down yeah i think we'll do that i think we'll do that my sweets but um yeah as we're going back to the planet zoo again like the build mode is just oh my god you can just do absolutely anything now i am a big noob at it i played planet coaster a little bit but i'm just i'm not really passionate about sort of roller coasters um nor kind of building roller coasters but what i am passionate about is animal kind of welfare and stuff so making these zoos that would um sort of help out with animal rights and um conservation and all of that good stuff i'm going to be heavily heavily into planet zoo but so what i'm going to do is i'm going to spend this month perfecting my skills at the build mode uh in planet coaster uh ready for the series so i'll know what we can do because my god there is so much to learn right is there any freezes that is going to stick out yet yeah, they're going to disappear aren't they when i do this um maybe i could use that in gray actually let's go back again does this come in a gray i don't think it does well that's semi gray that's more of a light timber but i think it would match in very well so let's go across here oh it doesn't it kind of oh no it's all right actually let me get rid of that grid so i can see yeah that yeah that's fine and what i'm gonna do is just go across here uh just to give make it look like it's got some kind of structure oh wrong one that one um what these pillars would be holding up like obviously it's completely useless but we're gonna go with it because we are the end the end. <laughs> oh, guys, you all pitched yourselves as well. I know so many people always say, you look like Tony Stark. Um, I get that a lot. Um, I don't personally see it. Neither does a lot of people I know in real life. But I get it in comments and a lot of you guys and etc. Oh, this isn't going to work now. Oh. Uh, oh. I'd have to put the floor up and stuff again. Oh, that's really... Sorry, guys. I've gone off track, but this is bothering me. Do you know what? Let's just leave that. I'm going to leave the pillars as well and just keep it open. It's just... I like the way that this looks, but it's not going to work. I mean, I could go across with... Let's try something. But yeah, anyway. I was... Uh, I always go off on these tangents. I was out for an Indian meal last night with my partner and his friend and friend of a friend and as i was leaving the indian restaurant the waiter whispered to me you look like tony stark <laughs> i was like oh thank you i get that a lot 
<laughs> I just thought it was so funny the way he whispered to me as I left. You look like Tony Stark. <laughs> In like a really lovely Indian accent. I love the Indian accent. Um, yeah, I thought it was funny. It was very funny. <laughs> My boyfriend was like, what did he say to you? <laughs> I was like, you look like Tony Stark. <laughs> <laughs> I can't do an Indian accent. Indian? Indian accents, you don't ask me to. Because that is what you'll receive, what I just did then. I'm kind of doing something, testing out this at the minute, seeing if it's going to work. Making this little moment in the middle. Is something going on here? Yeah, it's this. No, stay there. Lovely. Um, maybe we could do something here. And then what I could do is grab this, hopefully. Yep. Put that around the whole thing. Um, and maybe just completely bang that out oh bye <laughs> hmm no that's not gonna work what i could do is put a fence on top of it um in a black maybe or should we go for a, a gold isn't there like that fancy one and like yeah and like a brassy tone let's see if this would work if i can get this grid on again it go to like there right isn't it yes get rid of that again that was great i love this build node so good love it <laughs> yeah oh uh, i mean it's not perfect but let me get into the free cam again i've got the cam my favorite mod back this is the only mod i've actually got installed in the game in the minute including cc is the free cam in build mode. Yeah, I kind of, I'm kind of here for that. That still gives it that vibe then. And then we can use the pillars. I like the pillars and the look, like kind of going down the church way. Hmm. Okay. Okay. Yeah, I'm kind of happy with that. Right. Anyway, so we need a wedding arch, don't we? So I'm going to have two wedding arches on this lot. One outside, one inside, depending on where you want to go and get married. Oh, I don't like the name of that wedding arch. Daddy's girl. <laughs> Daddy. <laughs> sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> I can't say that word without feeling dirty now. Filthy. Like a filthy bitch. I like this one. No, that's going to be too much in here. Oh, that doesn't look too bad. I mean... Hmm. I'm kind of here for that one. In the white as well with the pink, it kind of matches in with the stained glass kind of nicely. Yeah, we're going to do that. We are going to do that. Okay. Um, And the thing that I use to death in a church build is always this here because it just looks religious to me. But I'm just wondering, will there be a colorway which would look okay within this church? Let me see these on the benches. That's not too bad. It's a bit lighter than what I would have wanted it. But we're going to go with it. Because. Because Jesus. That's why. Because Jesus. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, I'm kind of, I'm kind of okay with that. Is that trim gone? No, it's there. Okay. Okay. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Um, over this way. Maybe I could make that into the confessions box, actually, because I don't want to squeeze that place down too much. Hmm. Wondering what we could... What if I could just box it in? Let me see how many squares this is. Yeah. What if I could just do this? Let me see that door with the, like, slidey door on it, maybe? I never know where that is because I never use it because I don't like it. Um, is it in this one? My eyes are stinging once again. They were stinging in the last video, if I remember rightly. It's these contact lenses. They do nothing for me. Oh, that's pretty. Um, where are you? Yeah, no, it doesn't really work. It doesn't give me the vibe that I want anyway. So I think we're still going to go ahead and do like a confessions box. But... Um, I know that that isn't substitute for every kind of um, church. Not all churches have confessions bo boxes. I know that it depends on what religion it is. Don't ask me what religion it is because I do not follow religion. So I have no idea. 
Um, well, that would look okay in here. Let's get that grid off. It kind of does, and it's got, I know it's modern, but it's kind of got like a nice gleam to it. Is that very close? It is very close. Right, we're going to do that whole thing in there, and I'll do this. There is a, oh, look at that. They don't shine through color, though. I was asking that last time whether it came through in color, and it doesn't really shine through in color. Let me, oh, look at the pretty. Look at the pretty. Look at the pretty. Let's have a little look with the, oh. Isn't that lovely? Just look at that light. Isn't that gorgeous? Gorgeous, gorgeous. All right, okay, we're getting distracted. So back down to here. Um, probably get rid of these inside here now. Um unsure on how we're gonna do this, but I'm gonna give something a go. Now, door-wise, maybe just a plain wooden door, maybe. That's a bit battered, isn't it? Maybe one like this. In the darker tone. That one there fits well. Yeah, that one. We'll do one that way. And then one that way. And then... The priest can have... The small room. <laughs> the priest can have the small room. We're going to put wood flooring down in here as well. I would like to get rid of that window, to be honest. But I'm going to keep it. It doesn't make sense, but we're going to do it anyway. And then maybe the window, maybe we could use... Oh, I hope it's not... Is this three wide in here? No, it's two wide. Oh, damn you. That would have been perfect. Damn. Oh. <laughs> that doesn't That doesn't fit at all. Um, I mean, this one really does fit, but obviously it's too big. Oh, there's a two one. I didn't even know it had a two one. Okay. Well, we'll do this one then. Um, let me get that grid off. That is a okay color match for the. Yeah, we'll go with that. We'll go with that. Yeah, that's not too bad. Um. And then this is quite. Too, this is too big. It is too big. Maybe. Maybe if I shorten this down somehow, maybe or. Hmm. Hmm. I'm having a thought. No, we're just going to keep it as it is. It's a huge confessions box for people with lots of confessions. <laughs> Wood-wise, I think we'll use the... Um, oh, yeah, that one. I was going to use the spooky pack one, but this one here will fit well. Might spin them around the other way, actually. No, they, they were fine that way. Yeah, okay. Now, I have no idea what goes inside a confessions box because I have not been in a confessions box. How many times am I going to say conversion? Lots. Lots. <laughs> Lots. Um, so what I'll probably do is add in just some dining chairs maybe. You wouldn't, you wouldn't want to get too comfy confessing your sins, would you? So maybe just something like this. Mm, yeah, that colorway's okay. It's a bit paler than what I would have liked, but we're going to go with it. Um, and in my eyes, they would like slide this window across and you wouldn't be able to see, see things, see things and stuff. If I move this window to here, just going to trial something just a second. Um, and I plopped this there. I'm just, I'm bothered by the size of this. I know I said I wasn't, but I am, I'm lying to myself and then do that and then get this detail back in here. I think this is going to work just a little bit better for my liking. Get that wood onto this side. You take your time PC and then get that stone back on here. Yeah, I think that will be better. That's better look. It's much better. Yeah, we'll go with that. We'll go with that and I'm going to add a few pillars on the outside and maybe put like some candles in here. Yeah, that's not too bad. Um, Pillar-wise, probably go ahead and use the vampire stuff one, but use the skinnier version in a wood tone. Um, unsure if the wood tones match in. Don't think they do. No, mm, that's the probably the closest we're going to get, but I still don't like it. Mm, that one there's a bit redder, but we're going to go with that one, I think. Yeah. Can we plop it there? Yeah, maybe. <laughs> maybe. Yeah, that's fine. And then I'll do one in the middle and one there as well. Just to make it look a little bit more ornate. 
maybe getting something up here for detail. Let's have a little look at the wall decorations. Um, damn. Oh my God. I was literally in my head looking for uh, something from Planet Zoo then. No, wrong game. Wrong game, my sweet. Apologies last time as well for the audio and video off of sync. It was like for the first five minutes. I thought I sorted it out in editing. Um, no, didn't. Um, me, reasons being, I, my, I don't know what's going on, but my OBS had a fart. Just farted. Big fart. But, um, but it should be okay now. Maybe not. Might have to do something to it in editing. We will never know. We will find out together. Together. Why is that not copied? I was holding shift for goodness. So yeah, maybe just layering these over the top of each other just to give it a little bit, a little bit of, a bit of fancy detail. There we go. Let's have a look at little look at that. Yeah, cool. Okay, not happy with the pillow color, but me, it will be fine. Oh shit, I've just remembered. Oh no, it's fine. Yeah, that's fine. Yeah, okay. Fine. Confessions box. I think what I'm gonna do is do a carpet. Ah, oh, do I want to do a carpet all the way down here? Saying that, that we did get a new carpet, didn't we? With um, the Realm of Magic. That may fit in here quite nicely. What colour is this? I think it's this one I was thinking of. Mm, I don't, I'm not really keen on that. If you can hear drilling, sorry about that. My neighbours are having an extension put in. And yes, the end. So sorry if you can hear that. But some things cannot be helped. You might even not be able to hear it. Maybe just the grey. Yeah. And then it doesn't take too much away from the stone floor then. You know? You take your time, darling. Take your time, sweetie. Nope, wrong one. Pressing Planet Zoo hotkeys now. I'm trying to learn the hotkeys for Planet Zoo. Um... I have never learned the hotkeys for The Sims, and I thought with Planet Zoo, because there's so much more to it, it would probably be a lot easier. So, yeah, I'm going to try and learn the hotkeys. Let's have a, look, a little look at that. Oh, that looks great. Yeah, I'm happy with that. Now, with these pillars, I'm thinking lights on them. Probably may have to lift the lights up, but I could do a wall down there for the meantime and then get rid of the wall. Hmm. That might derp out and cause things to die, but we're going to try. Let's see. Has it got rid of anything there? No, it hasn't. Okay. Right. Right. So light-wise, let's have a look. Some more lights. <laughs> kind of want them oldie worldy, but not necessarily candle. Um. So, <sighs> let's have a little look, shall we? Oh, we could use these. Oh, they, they go right into the pillar, though. So, yeah, not them. Um... Ooh, they're a bit big. I could size them down. Ooh. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Oh, gosh. Yes. <laughs> I think that colorway is going to match in the best. So maybe if I do like one on each of them, may need to size them down. Let's have a little. Yeah, I will need to size them down. So let's do one there. Size you down. Boop. One there. Size you down. Boop. One there. And a boop. One there. Boop. Boop. <laughs> boop. And boop. Oh, God. There we go. And then get rid of the walls. Hopefully, that would be okay. But look. Has it got rid of anything trim-wise? Nope. Seems fine to me. Oh. You little shit. I saw you getting forgotten. Caught you before I took a wall down. Oh, I should have done them on either side. Hey, sorry guys. One second. So, it's done. What we did, we added them both to each side. But you can see I've put some spandrels in as well. Now, I was going to do that anyway. But I just wanted to see if it worked or not. Um, and it does. It looks good. And then those pillars have their own kind of moment in the church area now which i think is nice and i'm wondering whether to do flowers or not or um i could i don't know whether to do like pillars of flowers i might just keep it bare 
main reasons being I do want you guys to be able to customize this for your own weddings and whatnot. So I think what I'll do is probably leave them bare um, and maybe just put in some nice details around on the walls and whatnot. Oh, look at that little glitchy going on there. Can't do anything about that. But yeah, I'm pleased with that little area. I think that looks pretty sweet. Pretty sweet and pretty cool. Pretty cool indeed. Do we use these on there as well? Or should we actually go on the walls as well? Or should we actually go and put in some candles? That is a question. I do... I use them... The one from Get Together to Death. <laughs> Sorry. I don't know why my tongue did that. But um, yeah, carry on. <laughs> anyway, moving on. Where are you, you little shit? I can't see you anywhere. Um... Um, where are you? I've probably missed them and you go, oh, there it is. Look, these here. Yeah, I think I'd, I love the light that these bring in as well. So using them in those tones will probably work nicely, actually. Oh, look at that. Fits like a dream as well. Just slot right in there, it did. Uh, oh. Filth. Utter filth. Yeah, there we go. One there. Why not? You know. Why not? That's what I say. Yeah, cool. What can we do here? Hmm. Maybe I'll leave that area for the detailing because we will do a little detailing episode at the end. This will be in three parts as well, guys. So we'll do the market and the detailing in the third episode. I keep saying episode. Part. Um. So, yes. Uh, that should be coming shortly. Hopefully, it will be coming this week. It will be. But I've also got a speed build in the works as well, guys. I am working my bum off for you. Um, but you're worth it. You're worth it. Yes. And I think what I'll do is use the same door here on this. There we are. Um, should I slot it in the middle? Why not? Why not indeed? What could we do here? Maybe just put some photos up here. Some paintings even. Um, we haven't really got any kind of religiously looking paintings apart from like the sort of Hanukkah ones and stuff like these holiday glow and they're not very nice i don't really enjoy them but we're gonna use them anyway maybe i'll use one there like so and then maybe here i could plop in <sighs> there isn't really much is there to be honest that we haven't used before um there was another one maybe we could use this i know it's more astral like more of astrological is that word it is now yeah we'll do that there and we'll put a small bench out here as well for the little old ladies to come and sit on while they wait for their husbands who are, who are in the confession box because they are confessing their sins they've been going out and sleeping with the ladies of the night and Mildred is not happy about it <laughs> oh god <laughs> Where does my imagination go? That's what I would like to know. Yep, yeah, one there. I'm not going to put one on the outside. Lovely. Um, <laughs> and maybe down here, maybe some pillars of some description and we can put something on it. Oh God, that drill is very loud. I'm sorry if you can hear it. Um, And maybe like a little, a book, like a, Guest book. I don't know if churches have guest book. Baguette. Baguette. <laughs> guest books. But um, they do now. Lovely church. <laughs> Lovely church. Thank you for having us. Love Mildred. <laughs> P.S. My husband's a bastard. <laughs> no, I don't think it is here. Where are we going? But um... Guys, feel free to get some ideas as well for Planet Zoo. We've got a month to think of stuff. I will do a community post for it. Um, we're going to make it a nice big series, I think. Uh, and I'll try and bring one out every week. So I'll try and get three videos, three videos out a week for you. Um, but as you know, I fail miserably at getting things out on time. I've learned now to not say, or I, I, I'm, oh, that looks fine, actually. We'll just use that. Yeah, nice little bush. But um, from in the future, I'm not going to like say this will be out on this date because I always fail. I always fail at it and then I feel bad. And then, yes, um, I'm going to put the door there. Can 
Can they still get in there? I don't think they will be able to. So let's plonk you there. Oh, that's off center now though. That's bothering me. Oh well, it's fine. Because reasons being, I do want to get a little desk moment in here where the vicar comes in and writes down all of the naughty people that have been naughty. <laughs> Is that what vicars do? No idea. No idea. There we go. And a chair. Maybe I could use uh, the vampire chair that I used back there as well. Um. Yeah, in that tone. Lovely. Lovely jubbly. And again, we'll detail this in the detailing. I just want to get things mapped down more than anything. That's not looking too bad. Could do with some candles and stuff out here. But again, as I said, detailing. So, choir practice. Um, We'll come and detail that as well in the detailing part. But I think seemingly we've kind of, we're kind of there uh, with this. I might actually put some candles on this. But I might do that again in the detailing episode as well. I wonder how many times. Detailing is going to be said in this one. No idea. Anyway. That will do for the minute. So yeah. Not looking too shabby. The church is cute. I'm here for it. I'm just going to save. And we're going to start pulling up the landscape. And getting the graveyard and wedding. Outside wedding garden. Finished. Ooh. Okay. Right. Let's start detailing in this. I'm kind of thinking... I wouldn't mind the graveyard being on a bit of a slope and then having a kind of semi tree line here to kind of not hide the market, but separate the market. But the only problem with that is I do want a path coming from there to be able to connect through into the graveyard area. So I think we'll do that first. We'll get that mapped out. I'll go into the terrain paints. Um, uh, That's a bit too small. No, that's going to be a bit too big. So I'll go back to that. Back to that. Back to you, darling, in the studio. Right, um, that's a little bit harsh. Let's soften you down just ever so slightly. But um, yeah, the terrain tools in, I, mean, I know I keep banging on about Planet Zoo, but guys, I'm in love with the game, so just, just humor me, okay? But the terrain tools in Planet Zoo are otherworldly, incredible, incredible piece of, um, game design really is really really is like they're just they, they crap all over the sims 4 one to be honest <laughs> big dump all, <laughs> all over the sims 4 terrain tools <laughs> uh i'm not like bitching or being negative about it it's just i appreciate good things and that my darlings is a good good thing <laughs> okay I'm leaving little gaps of green because I'm thinking I'm going to go in there with soil and doing some kind of like landscaping moment. So just let it be. <laughs> just let it be. There we are. What's this? No, no. There we go. What is this? I'm going to curve this in. Just that's, that's the crap curve there, but we're going to go with it. <laughs> Round to there. Round to this little moment here. And we'll soil in these areas here as well. Um, should we use the dark soil? I do believe so, yes. We use the dark soil all on these areas here. And this is where I'll probably do some nice landscaping as well. So let's get that sorted first. Lovely. Um, we'll get a little bit of the landscaping done, but I think we'll leave that, leave that until the last episode. So we've got lots of things to do in the last, the last part last part of this but um so far it's been very nice getting back into um let's build new crest i do want to really push this series on and get it to the best that it can be now let's get this tree over to this side as well just to map in a bit of symmetry is that floating it will be oh god i just nearly why is it saying United Kingdom keep? Yes, United Kingdom keep keyboard. Um, sorry, something just flashed up on my screen. Then, um, hopefully it didn't record. Ah, oh, lovely. It's a bit higher, isn't it? But it's nothing I can do about that because 
terrain is risen on this side and not on that side. And I do want to keep it risen here. It looks quite cool. So we're going to go with it. <laughs> we're going to we're gonna do it. <laughs> right. Um. Mm hmm. Yes. Yes. And yes. There we are. Don't really need to put anything here, but I'm going to kind of have its own little semi moment there. <laughs> okay, sorry, big sniff. Now, now that I've got that path mapped in, I can see what areas I can raise up a little bit more now then. So why don't we go ahead and do that? Hmm. Let's do it together. Together. Oh, that's a bit fast, my love. Let's get you down. The softness, yeah, that's fine. Um, so, tree line. Let's bring this up like to there. Let's do this at the highest level that we're going to lift it up. I don't want the graveyard to be too risen because it'd probably be very difficult to kind of map in what we need and make things actually sort of rest upon it without it like lifting up and looking weird and whatnot. So yeah, maybe just giving that area its own little bit there. So it's quite a nice big market area. Once there's trees and stuff on it, I think it will kind of bring it in. So now let's get this moving tool and bring let's move this. In fact, let's raise this terrain up as well, just uh, over this bit. So we've got more areas to kind of smooth upwards. Let's not lift that path. I am going to maybe move this. Is that going to be... Can I do you below ground? Nope. Out, out the boundary? Are you quite a, Are you quite well? <laughs> Thank you. Because I needed the grid on. There we go. So yeah. We'll, I'll probably put this around that way as well, to be honest. Okay. Um, let's do a bit more. A little bit more just to map these areas in. Let's get rid of you. I do best without the grid on. And just a little bit on this side. And then what I'm going to do is completely smooth that up until that kind of height there. And the same here. Up until about there. Lovely. And then up until about, say, there. Yes. Let me just get a nice vibe of this, actually. Um... Mm, yeah, I think so. We'll soon find out. Anyway, so graveyard needs to be kind of separate to the wedding area. So what I'll probably do is make the great make the wedding garden first. This is in the completely wrong place now. Um, is that going to be risen? Oh God, <laughs> it is. <laughs> um, get the grid on, and we'll plonk you around about there. Is that too far? Oh, oh, it kind of fits in. I didn't think it was going to do that on the raised terrain. So I'm quite glad it has, actually. Yeah, okay. So is that a big enough garden? Yeah, that's fine. So what I'll probably do is grab one of these arches, plonk one just around about there. Mm, let's do it to like there. Yes. And then hedges, I think. Shall I use the single hedge or shall I use the actual high hedro we'll use the high hedro high hedro just thinking that can be the entrance to the graveyard there and we'll do a gate there into the gardens yes okay and we'll just completely oh i had it on square that's why to there yeah that's a big enough moment why is it not allowing me there really why? Why is that? Any particular reason why you don't want to go there? You piece of shit. <laughs> oh, right, I'm just going to plonk these like this. It might come back in after I've um, sort of re reloaded the game. But I'm just going to do this first. Just so it doesn't annoy me. And then I can tweak that off of camera. Just so you get a semi idea of what we're going for. Um, yes. Yes. Uh, gate. Oh, that would look pretty. Oh, for fuck's sake. 
Anybody for Planet Zoo? <laughs> um, yeah, so that's the thing. Um, one second. I'm just going to reload back my game back in and see if this sorts itself out. Let me so, go. yeah, it did. It kind of sorted itself out just by reloading the game. Probably the same with this fence over here that was missing. Exactly. Weird bug. Once again, Sims 4. Silly bum. Um, so, yeah. Kind of happy with that. I don't... No, I'm not going to put anything on that now. We'll just leave it as it is. Um, Here, this is where the wedding area is going to be. I did want this to be a very kind of... Is that floating? No. So I want the wedding arch to kind of be here. And then we'll do some more like seats and some lovely flowers and whatnot. This can go in the graveyard area. So I do want to change the stone to the darker grey one. That looks a little bit shabby. Yep. That one there. Let's pull you forward. Is that oh, Ray? It looks like it's floating. So it is slightly floating, look. I don't know what that is about. Um, is there... Let me just try and test this terrain. Try and flat this terrain down. See if that has anything to do with it. No, not really. It just floats. It's magic. The realm of magic is in the game. Um, and that is where we're going to go with it. Okay. So, yeah. So, that and some benches. I think in these benches on the outside would look great. And it would match in very well. These are all from the Romantic Garden Stuff Pack. If you... Uh, a nice get a nice um stuff pack actually. I kind of enjoyed that stuff pack. Not a lot of people liked it. I grew the flower some of a lot of the flowers are very um cartoonish, but there were some really good pieces, statue wise, etc. etc. I really enjoyed them. Really enjoyed them. I'm thinking here maybe some fountains. That wedding layout's kind of nice. Let's get an archway in there. Let me try. Mm, wedding. No, not that welcome garden. Do, do, do blushing beauty wedding arch oh it's this one um the white looked okay actually yeah i'm kind of there for that one i think we'll do that i've just put it straight up to it like this yeah that's kind of pretty i have to make a pink moment then so i will be putting flowers out here maybe i'll do some flower beds just down each side and then you guys can do whatever you like with the middle that will probably be a good way Hmm, yes, okay. Fountain-wise, wondering about a pre-built fountain? Don't think there is any that is going to be small enough to just kind of slot here. Yeah, that's massive. These are pretty. Oh, they would go really well. Again, it's from the same stuff pack, so the, we'll probably find a matching. Yes. Yeah, I could do one like there. And then one, is that risen there? Yeah, it is. Right, we'll do it in the same place. And I'll just flatten down the terrain. Oh, no, it's okay. It's fine. Is it floating? I can never tell. No, it's not. But that definitely is, isn't it? Look. Bloody floating. Bloody floating, I tell you. Um, Underneath. Hmm. Just thinking. Just thinking about adding a... Moment to the bottom of it. Hmm. Or I could actually just draw a fountain underneath of it, which would probably be probably be an okay way to do it. Maybe in like that kind of oh that's massive. Um what am I doing? Yeah, let's do it this way. So one, two, three, four. It's kinda huge, but I don't really oh, it's gonna leave such a small little walkway. That could be quite pretty, though. Why did that copy, then? Oh, probably because I copied the fountain. Um, yeah. Yeah, that could be quite cute, actually. Okay, trim-wise, I um, don't really tend to like a lot of the trims. What? What? Oh, these are awful colorways, haven't they? I don't really want a white one. That's a bit too modern. That would be good, but what colours do you come in? Well, you come in a white. I suppose that would match in with the trim of the... I mean, the arch. And then we can do lots of white flowers to kind of pull that together. Yeah. 
Yeah, okay. Um, and sort of terrain paint wise, I do want to use the same one that we've just used for the whole of the outside. Uh, let's get you down to that level, my love. So we'll just drag this all the way up here. And then square off these moments. I could probably go bigger, actually. Go big or go home, as they say. Do they? I have no idea. And then round off this area here. If I can round it off there, I can just round off the middle in there then. Oh, let's get that just right. It's a bit wonky, but again, we can do that in the detailing. Now here would probably be the best place for some trees. And then there are some cherry blossoms around as well, which is good because I was thinking cherry blossomy. And plus, it will kind of match in with the flowers. But they're massive, aren't they? Isn't there a smaller one? Um, Oh, these are pretty as well, though. Hmm. I think we'll use these. What, what, what are you like size down? That's better. Let's um shift you along there. Yeah. And then we'll do another one. I was poking through there, but I'm just going to oversee it and pretend that I don't see it. <laughs> Just pretend. Just pretend. Let's push you along just slightly. I know it's cutting through. We can just pretend that it's growing around it. Yeah, that's not too shabby, actually. Kind of enjoy that. Yeah. Hmm. Okay. And sort of uh, terrain paint-wise along here. Maybe not the darkest of soil. Maybe the one down from the darkest. Oh, is it that big? Oh, no. There we go. And what I'll do is paint all this around. This is on quite a harsh one, but this is kind of needed for here. And what we'll do is do all the landscaping in the next part. But I just want to get this area mapped down first so we know what we're doing. I'm not sure what to do here. It looks good enough for a tree there, maybe. Good enough for a tree. I might actually fence this area in here. Uh, unsure of what fence to use. What did I use on the outside? I didn't really. Ah, oh, I used the new one that came with an update. We'll use that one. I was going to do a high one there, but... Eh, let's keep with the aesthetic, shall we? Shall we, my children? Yes. There we go. Yeah, okay. So we'll do another tree here. I'm not going to use another blossom tree. It'd be overkill. Maybe use the one... Um, No, not that one. It looks like it's the puke tree that I don't like. Maybe use that flowery one. But not in the full flower form. Oh, there. Yeah, that could be nice. This could be like a little perfect photo tree. Is where you could have your photos taken here. Damn it. And we'll get that uh, fence. Did I use a different one on the outside? I did. I used the solid black one. So we'll do that on the outside here. Let's get you to there. And get this moment going. Oh, gosh. Well, we'll have to sort that out. We'll have to sort that out. All the way along there. And we'll just cut into there, into that tree. Um, <laughs> yeah, let's bring that terrain down, shall we? <laughs> it's not working for me, love. You're not working for me. Get you down. We're going to bring that fence down with it. There we are. Same here. I don't really want to get rid of this bit here, though. I think what I'll do is... Uh, Get rid of the fence and do some, make that into a landscaping area as well. So let's paint the soil down here and again, do it next time. I think that would be the best way to work it. What do you think, my loves? A tree here as well would look good. A definite tree there. Yes. Um, And I'll just get the terrain paint for here as well so we know. We know. Might be a good place to put a bench under this tree, actually. For a moment of contemplation. Lovely. Lovely. Okay, so it's kind of getting there. Kind of getting there. I do want to do something over the top of this, I think. Maybe like an awning or something. But again, we'll figure it out in the next episode. Um. So, graveyard. Kind of want to keep the graveyard open. I don't want to put any fence up here so they can just literally walk up the hill and whatnot. Uh, these are going to float horribly. 
So I will have to maybe put some something down uh, fence-wise. Just wondering if I can get... We'll do only do a few graves as well. Maybe like six. We'll aim for six. Six is a good number because it sounds like sex. <laughs> How many was that? That was three. So... Um... If I do this, it'll pull the train up, right? No! No, it won't. No. Uh, I thought it was going to. No. Dumb. So, maybe... I knew this was going to be difficult trying to get this on a hill, but I just really wanted that aesthetic. Um, maybe if I can do it this way. One, two... Oh, one, two, and three. Yes. And same over here. Oh, it's going to be difficult to get to that high, isn't it? I could just, like, just do it all the way along like this. Because it still give that hill kind of-esque, hill-esque kind of vibe to it, hopefully. Um. So one, two, three, maybe four. Four up here. It's all graveyard wise. And then maybe like another one. Like here. Um, And then one more like around there. I think this is the same height. It looks to me that way. Yeah, it does. Yeah, okay. And then you can come on maybe here. Onto the entrance of it. Now I'm just going to flatten that down. To that height, so that sits on the floor. Come on. Down you come. There we are. Lovely. Let's have a look. Okay. That's not too bad. Um, Are they still floating? Why? There we go. So let's get the grid on just so I can mark out where I want these. There we go. Oh, really? You're not going to go up to that edge? No? Okay. Well, you can go there then. One. Two. That's still floating. Why? There we go. Three. Four. Put you down. Is that one floating as well? It is. I didn't realise that. So let's bring you down. Thankfully, these are being able to be manoeuvred downwards. Yeah. And then we were going to do like three here, weren't we? So one there. A bit sunken. Is that one sunken up there? No. So, yeah. Is that down? It is. And then copy another one of those circular ones to go there. There we are. Yeah. Okay. And I'm going to use that fence that I wanted, actually, just to fence them in. Uh, I think I'm going to do a fence just on this side. Or maybe I could do like a tree line here. But yeah, we'll do a tree line there and a tree line around the floor there. We'll place the trees as well in this part, but we won't sort of detail them in with landscaping and stuff. We'll save that for the next part. I think that's a good way to go. That's better. Another one. Yeah, we'll keep them in that black wrought kind of iron fencing. I think that would be great. Um, There. You. Oh, we should do a gravestone here as well. The only problem with that is it's not going to sit. So if I can just bring that one down like that and get one that looks new would probably be the best way. Which is really morbid to think, but sorry. That's not new. I know we have got some newer looking ones in debug, so maybe I'll do that in the next part. That's morbid as hell, but we're going to do it. And we'll detail all of that after as well. Cool. Okay. Right. We'll get the train paints on here just roughly. Because uh, I don't want this video again to be 7 million years long. But um, we're definitely getting there, aren't we? Aren't we, my friends? Gravel. I think we use this one. I tend to use this one a lot for graveyards. <laughs> Not that I go ahead and build a graveyard. 
all too often. Lovely. Let's get these in just in these little areas. We can do flowers and stuff on them in the next part. I don't know what's going on lately with the terrain paint, but like when you put it towards an edge and stuff, it tends to skirt off to the edge really like easily. And it's very annoying. Very annoying. I don't enjoy it. Like, see that there just like moved like that then when I was definitely, see it's done it again. So annoying. Just give us free roam with the terrain paint tool, please. Thank you. Lovely. Hmm. Yeah. Yeah. That's kind of giving me the vibe I wanted. Kind of giving me the vibe I wanted. I think. Mm, should I use this one? What about the new one? Yeah, maybe. Mm, that looks a bit too solid then, doesn't it? Maybe I'll use this, this one. Yeah, we'll use this one. Just like to the sides. Um, and sort of the pathway, maybe do a pathway here, like a long, and then maybe just do all this whole area in this. On a moment, we probably need to morph around the actual terrain manipulation a little bit, but it's kind of coming together, kind of, we're not there, but as I said, the detailing part will be the one, my friends. And we'll do that in the next part. Mm. Here as well. And this one. See, it just went weird then. Jumped in spaces. And. Yeah. Okay. And this is going to be a tree line along with these trees here. I'm going to start just sticking. We still need to do a lot to that area. But I'll do that in the next part. <laughs> How many times am I going to say that? <laughs> Um, let's get some trees out. So there, there's the kind of sort of tree line that I wanted. This will morph around. Obviously, we'll do some landscaping upon all of this and stuff, but it kind of just separates the graveyard, gives the graveyard its own kind of private little moment. Love the bigger oak tree kind of towering over the great, the actual graves themselves. Obviously, we'll flower all of this area up in the next part, finish all of this, um, and get the market sort of done as well. Uh, Unsure how, on how I'm going to go about the market yet. Um, I'd be up for any inspiration from you guys. So feel free to leave a comment down below. Um, but yeah, I think that is where we've left it today. So we've got lots to do next time. Detailing episode will be coming out this week. Unsure as to when, but it will be coming with you very shortly. But I will leave this here for now. Thank you very much for watching this video, my darlings. And I will see you in the next part. Bye. <laughs> I don't know why I crossed my eyes then. Goodbye. <laughs>